So we are starting the day with some masala chai. For most breakfast, I usually have egg in some form along with toast. But today we're going to change things up a little bit and I'm going to try this Maggie poha that I bought. I do make poha from scratch also. But this one is a lot easier and most importantly, I guess I was just curious about the taste. Every state in India kind of has their own way of making poha. This Maggi one is kind of done in the style of the Maharashtran Kande Pohe. And there used to be these stalls all throughout my area. Every morning uh, you could buy poha on the road and have it for breakfast. But of course those stalls aren't currently around anymore. So you really end up getting that same effect from this poha. It's also kind of spicy. So be warned. With a cup of masala chai, it's just the perfect, perfect way to start the day. So usually after our breakfast chai, we'll have another tea or coffee before lunch. But today we kind of just got busy with some other things and we had started our day late. So we skipped it and now I'm going to be preparing a little bit of a lunch. This is Tex-Mex, which is like Mexican inspired cuisine. And it's kind of a lighter lunch. It is vegetarian. We do eat a lot of meat. We eat some fish. So we are not like vegetarian by lifestyle, but ever since lockdown started, we ended up eating a lot more vegetarian food. And many days we'll eat like entirely vegetarian meals. If uh, my eyes look weird, it's just because I have chopped onions here. And they're really, really smarting. <laughs> my eyes, I can't put the chimney on while talking to you all because it's very, very noisy. Today's Tex-Mex inspired lunch is something I'm going to be trying new for the first time. I recently came across these tortilla packets available online on Amazon and I was very excited uh, just because you know some days you want your lunches to be uh, very familiar and very homely and some days you kind of miss eating outside and you kind of want your lunch to taste different. You want it to taste like restaurant food or takeout so today we are going for little bit of like a different sort of experience flat tortillas if you don't get them you can kind of substitute chapatis but the texture is totally different than a chapati i really like using them they're super convenient they also have a dark multi-grain variant so i'm planning to make quesadillas today which is fancy sounding but really quite simple I'll be making caramelized onion and portobello mushroom quesadillas. I've never cooked with portobello mushrooms before. I've done a button mushroom and oyster mushroom, but this is something new for me. So I have the onion, the portobello, and then I have the cheese because you need cheese in quesadilla. Like, it is a given. And this is a four cheese Mexican blend. It has cheddar, Monterey Jack, mozzarella, and Colby that like ends up being quite a gourmet experience. It's already pre-shredded, so that makes it really, really easy. I think I'm gonna take my time with preparing this meal and just savor the experience. So I have sliced up all of the mushrooms and now they're gonna lightly saute for a while and I hope you guys didn't take any notes from my mushroom chopping style it gets the job done and I am satisfied with it also you might recognize this new knife from my most recent IKEA haul chopping with it was an absolute dream so I'm gonna let these mushrooms saute for a bit and then I will season it with a little bit of a teriyaki sauce Cajun spice mix and a dash of soy sauce
the mushrooms are done and as you can see after cooking the quantity reduces quite a bit and I know some people like to remove the stems of the mushrooms but I think it's a matter of personal preference and I always prefer to uh, keep them because I think they have a nice strong and unique flavor and now the next step of course is to caramelize some onions so I'm just going to add a little pinch of sugar and a little dash of soy sauce because soy sauce also has like sugar in it and I'll put the lid on this pan and just leave it for at least 15 to 20 minutes like I'll come back occasionally and stir a little bit caramelization is a very slow process and even like 20 minutes won't be enough so we won't go for a full caramelization we'll go for something in between <laughs> So I used to love eating the quesadillas at Taco Bell but now uh, there's no Taco Bell near my house and I dare say I made one even better. Most of the time I would default to chicken for this but since I had mushrooms I thought mushrooms would go well. This is just absolutely amazing. My parents enjoyed it as well. This is probably something that I will be making more often. Pony are spending a little bit of time by the window. He is interested in what's going on outside. It is time for a coffee. Most days now we have been having one coffee a day and when it comes to coffee I am absolutely not a snob. I just like having instant coffee most of the time. We are pretty sensitive to caffeine in the house so since we don't want to disrupt our sleep too much we'll never really have a coffee post 5 or 5.30 pm and it's just 5.04 right now. So I think we are pretty much on track. Usually I'll just have regular plain instant coffee. Maybe twice a week as a treat. I'll have one of those fancier imported Nescafe lattes that I have. So mum has the mild one with caramel. And I have the strong one with hazelnut. This kind of becomes like a fancy cafe type of drink. It's really quite flavorful and yummy. time for like the late evening tea i'm having a regular assam chai this is not masala just kind of a mild black tea uh, with milk powder and sugar and then i usually have some biscuit on the side like sometimes we we'll cook something as a tea time snack but often we will also eat something like a biscuit or a prepared snack so it really depends on the day. We ate too much of Murray biscuit in the early part of lockdown so lately we've been enjoying cookies. They taste a little bit like Shrewsbury biscuits. I've also been enjoying Parley G nowadays.
And now it's time to start actively working on dinner, although we required a little bit of pre-planning and a little bit of prep in the morning because we were going to be making kidney beans or rajma and they require a lot of soaking before you can actually cook them. For today's dinner, I am going to be making loaded nachos, which is something that we make pretty often at home. And most of the time in the past, whenever we make nachos, I would top it with some kind of meat, be it shredded chicken or mutton mince or something. But today we're going to be making it vegetarian. So I'll be making refried beans, which is basically where you overcook the rajma until it's pretty soft. And then you refry it in a pan and kind of mash it. It's sort of a Mexican staple. On the side, I'll also be making a very simple salad. Salad is not something we eat so often, but when I was buying groceries, I saw that there was really nice lettuce available, iceberg lettuce, and I said I have to get hold of it. Along with the iceberg lettuce, I'm just going to be using this packet of olives, and this also has a lot of vegetables in it, apparently never really tried it before so I'm hoping that turns out nice as well So these marinated olives were just so perfect to make a simple salad with and because they are in olive oil and they already have a lot of flavor I didn't even have to do a separate salad dressing. Next time I would just put some more fruits, nuts or some elements because it was a little bland but still really great. This next part of dinner was totally an on the spur of the moment thing because we always eat like the same dinner at home. We make something that everybody likes and we don't do separate dinners. But my dad doesn't really enjoy nachos. He just does not like the chips part that much. So I just decided to make him some burritos with pretty much the same elements that uh, we were going to be putting on the nachos. And I used the same tortilla wraps that I used during lunchtime. Well, actually, this is the other variant, the multigrain one. And again, I'd never really made burritos, but I put things in there that he likes and they turned out so good. And I already ordered a bunch more of these tortilla wraps because I just like how they turned out. After I've layered on the cheese, I just put the nachos in the microwave for one minute so it can melt. So it's past midnight, I'm trying to keep my voice a little bit low. Ever since lockdown, I've become even more nocturnal than I was before. One of the habits that I got into was having a chai every night a little bit after dinner. Recently, I've switched from having black tea with milk to having this particular infusion, which is basically haldi and ashwagandha. It is a lovely tea just to have at the end of the day. 
I have it with some honey and it puts you in a really relaxed state. So just gonna infuse this for a little while longer and enjoy it and go to bed. That noise was the fridge coming on. I will see you guys next time. Bye.